Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should hit subscribe and the notification bell before you realise how fucking garbage this content is. If this is not your first time here, well, you may want to seek some professional help because, again, this is absolute fucking trash. But in either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. For today's deck profile, we are taking a look at Pure Cosmo. That's right, we're rolling back the clock and looking at a different time. The deck isn't super competitive anymore, but we can still have an absolute ton of fun with this cult classic deck. If you are watching this video and you're inspired to pick up any of the cards from this, you should definitely check out Jam Jam Cards UK. They are the channel sponsors, and there is a link in the description to their eBay store, which will net you a nice cheeky discount, courtesy of yours truly. It's also worth noting that they don't just do Yu-Gi-Oh singles, they do Pokemon ones as well. But that's enough waffling on from me, let's get stuck in to the deck profile. So before we get started, let me first apologise if there are any crazy noises in the background. It has been blowing an absolute fucking gale, as well as snowing intermittently, and it sent the horses that are next door absolutely batshit crazy. On top of that, my laptop is crazy fucking loud, and as a result, you'll sometimes hear the fans in the background. I'll do my best to edit that out as I possibly can. But enough waffling on from me, let's get stuck into the deck profile. So for the most part, we already know Triple Dark Destroyer is pretty much mandatory, being able to pop monsters. We love a bit of that. We have a single copy of Forerunner. I think just the one is absolutely fine. Being able to regenerate some of those life points is really, really nice. Running triple copies of Slip Rider. I think this is good in most formats, but on top of that, it's also quite a back row heavy format, and as a result, having access to something to pop that if you need to is a really good option. And with that in mind, we already round off our ships. I think really they're the only ones you need to run. There are some other options you could consider, of course, but honestly, I think that this is really all you need for the current game. In terms of our pilots, I think one Dark Lady is absolutely fine. A single copy of Wicked Witch. I quite like one copy of Good Witch at the moment. A lot more people are playing XC decks, and of course, with that in mind, this gives you a way to play through that a little bit more. We have a single copy of Farm Girl. I think that really only one is necessary. Two copies of Strawman. Again, two is perfect. And three copies of Tin Can because you want to be able to dig as deep as possible. And really, this just helps you get there. The monster lineup, I'd say, is pretty much standard. Again, you can chop and change it slightly depending on your requirements. And it is a pure variant, so keep that in mind as well. We've also opted not to play hand traps in this particular build. And instead, I'd rather just play a little bit more ignorant here. We have opted not to run too many hand traps in this particular build. I'd much rather be able to go first and set up quite a compact board and obliterate the opponent that way. If you do if you do need to go second, though, the deck is quite capable of doing that. We already know that much. And as such, you shouldn't be punished really all that much in that respect. We are running triple copies of Pot of Extravagance. Our extra deck is more or less surplus to requirements. We really don't need any of the cards that are in there. They're all just super poly targets. And of course, Vertanaconda to get super poly played out of the deck. As a quick note, we are running that in the side, and we are not doing a side deck for this particular build. But Super Poly is something I absolutely would run. I definitely don't recommend main decking it because it isn't that good in all instances, and there really isn't that much space, but it's definitely a card you want in the side. Part of Extravagance, though, really helps us, given how slow the deck can be at times. Triple copies of Cosmic Town, I think this is pretty much mandatory. A single copy of Terraforming to make the fourth copy, because you really just want to see it as quickly as you possibly can. And the remainder of our spell cards are one-offs. Call by the Grave to protect you against other hand traps, but also good both as an offensive and defensive card. A single copy of One for One here helps you get into Tin Can. A single copy of e Telly, again, you need to play it. And a single copy of Upstart Goblin, again, for a little bit of speed, but playing a 39 card deck is better than playing 40 for the most part. And giving your opponent a 1,000 life points, we don't fucking care. Two copies of Cosmojo. I think in all these other hybrid builds that people usually play, you'd certainly run less copies, if any at all. But I think two in here is absolutely perfect. I really don't feel the need for a third, but you can do it if you really so wish. 
Triple copies of Torrential Tribute. This is really, really strong at the moment. A lot of decks opting to play this. The fact that it destroys your monsters as well is absolutely perfect. Triple copies of Trap Trick. We are running so many targets. In fact, all of our other trap cards can be targeted with this. And as such, fantastic card to have in here. Helps speed things up. It helps thin out your deck. What's not to love? Two copies of Storm Dragons Return, possibly the cheapest Prismatic on the market, so you could really pimp out the deck if you wanted to, but we won't get into all that nonsense. This card was made for this deck, and as such, you need to fucking play it. And two copies of Back to the Front, again, just getting you extra bodies on board, all of that good stuff. Again, our extra deck is just basically Super Poly Targets, plus Ver Anaconda, uh, Persychroid, doesn't really fucking do anything, Predator Plant stuff, Mud Dragon, Starving Venom, I'm really not going to go into details about all of those. And that is all for today's deck profile. Hopefully by virtue of the fact that you made it this far, you enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe and the notification bell, or at least hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. In either case, I appreciate you making it this far into the video. If you did enjoy the content, definitely let me know down in the comments. I take the time to read as much of them as I possibly can. I'd also like to hear if there's any other kind of content that you would like to see on the channel. The world is a little bit dry at the moment for content, as we all very much know, with the whole thing that's going on in the world that I can't say without getting demonetized. But despite the slew of deck profiles, we also do how to play videos, combo tutorials, and much, much more. If you'd like to see something different, definitely let me know. But anyway, I'm definitely waffling on a little bit here. That's enough of my nonsense. Thank you very much for coming along. Again, I do really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.